So you guys know that there's nothing more magical than the written word, right? Well, I've got 13 cards here, ace through king, and we're gonna try to find each of those cards using only its name, and we'll even shuffle them up a little bit. Good. Now, what's the first card in that order? Ace, I suppose? Yeah? Let's hope this works. A, C, E. I guess the next one's two. T, W, O. Does anybody know what comes after two? Three. Three, that's right. T, H, R, E. What's the next letter? E, e. that's right, yep. E. F, O, U, R. F, I, V, E. S, I, X. S, E, V, E, N. E, I, G, H, T. N, I, N, E. T, E, N. J, A, C, K. Q, U, E, E, N. And of course, K, I, N, G. And that's the world's greatest spelling trick. Now, we're gonna show you guys how that one's done. Now, here's how this one works. It's actually what we call a self-working trick, right? Because it functions using um, a mnemonic device. I'm gonna teach you the mnemonic device right now. It's a really simple one. In the year 387, right, 387, there was a queen and she was 64 years old. Now, this queen, she had two sons, so she had two sons named Jack and Kevin in the year 1095. And that right there is the order. And that's how you're gonna always remember what, card, what order these cards go in, right? Now, you're probably wondering, because I was shuffling them up at the, be at the beginning, how did I do that, right? Well, actually, it's a really easy thing to do, because all I did is I did the overhand shuffle, but I controlled each card. So once more, the order's really simple. In the year 3, 80, 7, there was a queen. She was 60, four years old, and she had two sons named Jack and Kevin in the year 1095. And that's the order for these cards. It's super easy to remember once you memorize that little story there. And then the trick basically does itself. And that's the spelling trick.